Eric Darnell captured victory by just five thousandths of a second. I know we got a spin right here on the back straight. Here comes Tony around. Tony Stewart goes around. Oh. 35 down, minutes into this practice. Tell you what, there's a lot of damage to the front end of that car. You can see the left front fender, the entire splitter destroyed. And he never made contact. You can see all the duct work right there that's tore up. See what happened. Just got loose on him, Larry. Sitting there watching as Steve was reading that promo. Coming he just started turn coming two. around. And he's third quickest. He's run a total of 11 laps. Ooh. And that right there is what did all the yep. damage. You can see part of the splitter just completely came off. It's been a good racetrack for Tony Stewart, too. He's got a win here. Somewhere around 15 to 25. Ooh. Oh, got a car. Kurt Busch. Holy cow. Got tipped. Slides to the grass. Caution is out. Hang on, hang on, oh. hang on. He's in the fence. Slide clip this guy. Tried to scrub as much speed off as he could. Hmm. Yeah. Kurt is out of the car. He's okay. But look at this wild ride. Second car that Kurt has crashed uh, in a very similar situation. Left side of your screen. He was squeezing up that outside. Ooh, he just... Mark was in the middle. I mean, wasn't it... Mark, where's Mark going to go? He can't go up. He can't go down. He was sort of in the middle. That was kind of... Strangers in the night there. And with the hood up over his windshield, Kurt Busch couldn't... You know what I like most about that 10-lap segment, Daryl? Carl had it loaded up. He Here he comes. Oh, my Whoa. gosh. Oh boy. He just tore his car all to pieces. He hit the uh he hit this uh manhole down there. He tore okay, it up. Sorry about that. He tore the whole front <laughs> off of it. He was gonna do a Matt Kenseth that he didn't know there was a manhole down it. there. You can get behind that show car over there on pit road. I, I don't, I don't I think, don't think, think behind, that's gonna happen. He's gonna get behind a record, what he's gonna get behind. <laughs> that is awesome. Gosh. He didn't I, make one mistake all night long till then he just didn't there's a there's a man cover down there a whole i think there's a cover down there yeah. that he hit in your words bad gun cars tore all the pieces gun cars tore all the pieces mike i mean this was a good idea he was going to come down through the grass and do yeah. a little sliding but what he didn't realize was is somewhere right along in there look at tore the whole front end off well of the it. car about turned over trouble right here guys front straightaway around goes the old nine landon castle goes for a big slide in the grass hold the brake hold the brake hold the brake hold the brake caution is out guys, be ready oh i'm sorry about what the hell is just running kind of like uh carl edwards doing his victory slide last saturday night in the all-star race there are no storm drains manhole covers or other anything that would impede Here's from our Fox Exmo. Watch this. Too much air. Yeah, when that thing went across that little quarter mile track, that's when she gets airborne. Yep. Here's a better look at the contact. He's in the gas all the way to here. Yeah. Wow. She went airborne and when she landed, it landed right on the nose. Not going to steer too well at this point. Well, as you saw in our side by side coverage, caution is out for the sixth time today. Danica Patrick, Greg Biffle. Yeah, we talk about getting runs, but we also talk a lot about blocking. And right there, that was just a combination of two drivers wanting one one bit of real estate. That car really got light. The wheels come off the ground. Roof flip. Wow. Push oh it back gosh. down. That is turf management at its worst right there. Car goes sliding from the infield wall. It's Chase Elliott. Oh, oh no. no. Regan Smith spins out in the trioval and when Elliott's car hit that grass it's like the blade of a shovel hitting the turf you can see the back of the oh, car just, just yeah. comes up out it, a little bit looks like the 19th of Kyle, uh, Carl Edwards we've seen yeah. a number of cars get loose watch this as he gets to the trioval grass Bam, and that blade just digs in yep 
We're under caution at lap 70 for a crash involving Brian Scott's 33 and Eric Almirola's 43. The uh, 33 was obviously a dart without feathers and uh, come across the racetrack and run right into me. So uh, it's a shame for our farmland team. Uh, our Ford Fusion was getting a lot better. We didn't start off the race like we wanted to, but we had certainly gotten it a lot better. And uh, man, he just come from all the way at the bottom of the racetrack and run into me. It's, uh, the 43 is going, 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 and then I, I, it's hard to tell if the 43 got loose and had to get out of the gas a little bit. But well, we have an on, happened. We have an onboard view. Let's see what happened. That shows Scott didn't make a rookie mistake. Yeah, what happens on these cars is the front splitter, it's like a front wing that you can't see. It's underneath the car, and every once in a while when you get in a spin like this, it'll hook. And that's what's going to happen. His right front tire goes down, it's going to get too low, it's going to hook and rip the whole thing off in the grass. I think the tire going down was the difference because if the tire doesn't go, the yeah. right front's going to stay up high enough and, and the splitter's not going to catch the grass. This is just two car. Watch this car. He wobbles just a little bit, makes a couple little moves there. Round he goes. He's not going to be quite as lucky. You can see the minute he started hitting that grass, not no. as quite as lucky as Brad Keselowski. That's a backup. We actually got our Farmers Insurance Chevrolet pretty good right there. That was the best we'd been in uh, the two practices. And... I was running right behind the 24, and then I could see the 42 had a big run. And like right as he got to me, I don't know if he hit me or not, but right as he got there, I just, you know, it's, this car just started moving all over. And um, I know I got hit from behind, but I don't know if it, you know, if it was necessarily him or how it worked. But when he hit me, I was just gone. Backup car. Yeah, backup car. Oh, trouble! And around goes Brad Keselowski That's off of Kyle Larson into the wall. Slamming on the brakes behind him. Everybody gets by. Contact, I believe, with Kyle Larson. They're tail happy, jumping all over the place. Right here, it looks like Kyle Larson said, I think I got an opening to, or a hole to get into. Wasn't quite enough room. Came into the left front fender of the two car. Keselowski sent him in the wall. Larson moves up just yeah. that much. He makes just, contact. And Kozlowski did not strike the outside wall until just then. Into the safer barrier. And Austin Boy. The highs of highs and the two goes around. Brad Kozlowski, a lot of damage to the front end of that car. Kozlowski into the grass. Passing the 11 to Denny Hamlin. Looks like he almost wiggles and comes up in front of him. I don't know if he needs to get out of the gas or what. And the 11 just basically makes contact. But I, I can't believe Denny just ran into him on purpose. We're going to have to see that look a few more times. I think 77 might get him both. Clear high, clear high. Wow. What a run off the corner. Oh, oh, he's in the grass. Yeah. Don't go in the grass. Boy, no. Yeah, he got the splinter. Oh, yeah. He, he messed up. Under he, the nose. he ruined his car right there. Oh, oh he's out of here. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Yeah. Hang on. Can't run. But you know what I like right there? The, the, whoa, here we go. Now this is where this is where the 77 just got off. You know, that's that's the problem with that grass. When you get in, we saw this with Dale Earnhardt Jr. several years ago. It ripped the nose right off of his car down in the grass. But you know what I liked about Chase Elliott? He gave Suarez a chance to get his car back under control. Oh, oh problems here. Every oh. pit road and going over the double jump is the 15 just launching the truck into the sky is mason mingus so uh but that wasn't even close uh, sure it wasn't a lot of damage to mason mingus's truck as well as you see timothy peters go by four wheels off the ground watch how fast he came in here he's coming Way in too, too hot on entry i don't know if Maybe the brakes didn't. It seemed like the brakes got to working good right before he hit the grass. Look at that thing ramp up in the air. A really difficult pit road to get to, Phil, because it's right way around the turn. Cone out of the way safely. Looks like Joey Chitwood or something. Yeah. For the Dukes of Hazard. Dukes of Hazard. That's incredible. It's a big story. The way he hit. Place Denny Hamlin oh, and Trevor Bain and a car in the wall. Hard in turn number one. It's on fire in the car. Dale Earnhardt Jr. I can't hear I think he could. He was behind that car and he couldn't see. And I think when he went to the inside, he clipped the. Uh, it, it, I think that it clipped the grass. Watch the 88. 
Yeah, he's going down the front here, headed toward turn one. You can oh. see at 190 mile an hour, and he lost a tire. Darrell, did he not? Just, I believe he just drove down through got, the grass, he, he which is did. not That's unusual exactly for doing what he that did. here. Yeah, that's right. Looking back on it, yeah, he clipped the grass.